Hello YouTube. I wanted to talk about the way we travel. I wanted to share the way I travel and then see if you guys have a better way or is there something that you prefer and why. So we're going into US for five days, six nights and bought the tickets to uh, bought the flight tickets to Air Miles. It was, it was a pretty good deal for two of us. And we're staying at a Airbnb. So so well, I st we stayed there twice before. It was a good experience. Hopefully like that Calgary uh, host, we were not gonna go there and party and do seven thousand dollar seventy thousand dollar worth of damage. But uh, so far we had good experience with all those. And one of my friend in uh, Edmonton, I heard that he is uh, doing this as well. So he is uh, subletting his uh, basement out in Airbnb and it's going pretty good. So. So Airbnb I think is pretty good for budget because um, one other thing that I booked Airbnb is so that like we have a we have relatives there and I'm pretty sure once they know that we are there they're gonna bug us and try to take us <laughs> so then I, if I booked a hotel I wouldn't be able to cancel it or even get the money back because it would be already too late by then so that's why I booked Airbnb and it was a pretty good deal it's 50 US dollar it's about 62 Canadian for a room with a private shower and whatnot so I think I'm okay with the wife is okay with that too so it should be all right and it was uh, close to the friends that we we're visiting as well so <clears throat> Airbnb and also I you know frequent visitor in TripAdvisor, Expedia, there's lots of travel sites right now. Lonely Planet is a good one. You can uh, you can find pretty much every city and everything that you can do on there anywhere any any time and I'm gonna get some apps on my phone that will have the offline maps and offline point of interest and all that google map also has the offline version now so if you just go to the search bar scroll the all, all the way to the bottom you can just save that whole portion what you're looking at as offline map and then you can star stuff on there too just say just bookmark it so that you will know where you are so the gps works offline as well so that's what i'm planning to use with that google maps and gps and just make a list of points or things that i want to see and we're just gonna cover day to day and we're not gonna rent a car or anything like that because everywhere else in the world i've seen better public transit uh, than calgary so uh, we're just gonna tube it i think that's what they call it in new york tube uh, train uh, no yeah it is tube no that's london i'm not sure what they call it in New York, train it, whatever. I'll find out next week and then I'll update if anybody's asking. But uh, that's how I like to travel. Even before then, when I we went for the long hauls, week and week and a half for the long with tours in Europe and whatnot, it was a uh, I never went for an all inclusive or like even in Mexico or Cancun, whatever. Never, never went on any all inclusive vacations. Um, to me, yeah, they're a good deal, but you don't get the full experience. Um, you get 
you get what they want you to do you don't get to do what you want that's what I want so I like to do my own planning and all that I do I, I'm getting better at it there's been times initially when things were planned bad and uh, there was unforeseen things that I didn't know how to watch out for right now like in LA um, I remember we had the last day and we were gonna go see so many things but it was the uh, LA run some city-wide run that was happening so the whole city was shut down and the buses weren't running uh, the two that with the underground train was running but uh, that only takes you to some certain places so those things I learned to watch out for so that I can plan better but uh, yeah and uh, in uh, Santorini, um, forgot to check the forecast. It was windy. The day we were coming back to Athens, there was 120 km an hour wind uh, that day, so our plane didn't um, land. So, yeah, our, uh, the whole place is on a, um, it's a it's looks like a mountain, but it, probably a hill that's about what was it four point some kilometer high up than the no, four point five kilometer that's crazy uh, 400 meters or 500 meters up uh, from the ocean level so you have the ocean and then there's this whole big chunk of rock that's sticking out and people are living on top of it but because of the wind the planes could not uh, land they, they could not go from that ocean current and then when the air hits the island it just all goes crazy so that's why they couldn't land the plane on the island so we were gonna wait till the next day but we had a connecting flight the next night so we kind of we got our money back i believe yeah we got our money back and then we bought uh, ferry tickets those big uh, cruises so they have those as well it was it was just like a big like a cruise ship um, three stories of car parking and uh, two stories of you know, living areas and all that so we booked a cabin and then we slept through the all night and in the morning we were in um, in Athens but uh, I'll share a video of that uh, wind uh, that night as well if you're interested I don't have a choice I'm doing it anyways but uh, where's your signal light buddy but anyways so that's how I travel. I, uh, my wife is not. I don't know if she. I'm pretty sure she's good at some kind of planning, but she never does it because I do it, and uh, you know I make sure we have a hotel that's close to all the amenities and whatnot. There is lots of sites that does that right now that can help you with it. Like I go to hotels.com, bookings.com. The girl is sleeping on the passenger seat. It looks like fun. I wish I would be sleeping. Um, there is uh, Expedia, Google, uh, Kayak Farms hotels as well. And um, yeah, so lots of different places. And for flights as well, I find that you know all those, all those sites give you different prices. So you got to watch out for that too. And one other trick is the incognito mode. I, I'm a Chrome user, but on even on IE, they have in private mode in Firefox there is the private mode as well so I always use that when I'm looking for anything like this flight or hotel or anything pretty much uh, when I'm going to buy something because I tend to find the uh, cruel cruel way of tracking us and then increasing the price as the day go by because you probably have seen if you don't use this method probably have seen the prices go up every every day you look at it or you know but uh, in cognitive mode I learned it from the internet of course but um, yeah so in private mode they can install that uh, cookie uh, on your computer to track what you're searching for what you're searching for the easy way for you to know is that if you go to kayak it, it passes on that date to all those third-party companies uh, third-party websites to find you a better flight so all those sites already know that you are looking for a flight from this day to this day and then you come back the next day 
they know you're gonna buy so you can definitely manipulate that system um, I don't have specific proof that they do it but I have seen it happens firsthand so I always use the private mode when I'm searching for flights and stuff um, so that's just getting away from the trickiness um, I always you know find out what's closer to the hotel and one must on the hotel is Wi-Fi and if it doesn't say free Wi-Fi I usually call them and find out because I remember in Berlin one of the hotel we stayed in it said free Wi-Fi in the lobby but their lobby only had a room for like 10 people so I had to go stand in the corner and do that and then also in uh, Mexico uh, they said free Wi-Fi but in the room I are I only got Wi-Fi when we are out of the bed, like closer to the door. But uh, when we're in the bed or uh, out in the lobby in certain area, they had blind spots, so Wi-Fi didn't work. Uh, so they, of course, had a paid version, which I did not pay for because it's supposed to be free. But you know, I just had to systematically put myself in the corner and do the browsing. But a couple of things like that that we mentioned that we. There. Uh, one other time interesting thing happened is that uh, on uh, booking.com I booked a flight, uh, sorry, booked a hotel and then a uh, day later, yeah, like within 24 hours they sent me an email back saying, oh sorry, this hotel is shut down for renovation, we forget to forgot to update your, our listing, so there you go, all your money back, but I think it was in Frankfurt. Um, so I did get all my money back but uh, they gave me a penny more because the euro went down or whatever but then um, yeah they called me saying oh actually my bad uh, did you get all your money back I'm like yeah I think so and uh, they go, I think we gave you more than what you wanted I'm like no you gave me a uh, euro back and I paid with euro so um, exchange rate is not in my control or your control so suck it up buttercup I made a cent um, anyways that's that's what I do and uh, itinerary like I said there's lots of websites that uh, uh, first thing you would google is how many days you're staying so if you're staying five days in New York I just go search for three days in New York and already found like three or four articles that does that so I'm just gonna take that strip it down add my stuff to it and make sure all the points are bookmarked on the map or I have the offline map and all that is ready and then that would be it grab a comfortable shoe and I am good to go another thing is um, I I think I told you on another video is that my vacations are more like tours and not uh, vacations like relaxing I make her walk and you know we try not to indulge too much on a place to stay like I know a good bed is the most important thing so I try to get that a warm shower is the second most important thing so I get that as well but other than that I don't go for you know inclusive food or uh, breakfast and whatnot I, I like to get out and find a crazy place I know it may end up costing me later but uh, when am I gonna get a chance to go to another city and have breakfast uh, out of the street and you know so that's the experience that I want so that's what I do even in Mexico people I know that they go all inclusive and uh, we didn't I went this guy's door is open holy shit uh, on the left um, so yeah we, we got we went to bed late whatever whatever places we went and stayed up late at that in the morning we went out found the found the cringiest uh, taco place or whatever breakfast they're serving we just sat down and ate and it was delicious all the food that they were serving so your door is open oh she's not looking she doesn't know how to drive uh, but yeah, so uh, that's what I did. And then 
whenever we got hungry, we ate. Even if we were not hungry, we saw a nice place and then we ate. So eating is something that I don't compromise. Maybe that's why I'm fat and that's why I'm lazy. But uh, I'm not going to compromise going somewhere and then not eating their food the way they eat it. I wouldn't want to go uh, go to New York and have, uh, you know, yeah, I'll probably have Philly cheesesteak. What am I thinking about? Maybe butter chicken I wouldn't have. But then again, there are Indian uh, restaurants of good names. So if there is something world famous, I'll definitely try it. But, you know, I'm going to definitely try New York fries because it's New York. But then again, I don't know if New York fries is from New York. I'm taking a breather. Why is this kid walking home with his bike? He's probably tired. One other thing on traveling is I'm pretty sure everybody does it is I grab extra batteries. Umbrella is nice. Nice pair of shoe. Not nice. More like comfortable pair of shoe. Ah, you don't need to listen to the news. And uh, we are good to go. Clothes I'm not too worried about because I have a bad habit of going to places and buying stuff random stuff souvenir t-shirts and whatnot so I do that too uh, so that's how I travel uh, what do you guys prefer let me know uh, do you guys go all-inclusive or do you plan your own trip as well with the freedom of seeing anything and doing whatever and uh, subscribe more videos to come soon probably gonna take a break for a day or two not a day, more like a week because going I'm traveling and uh, I'll post some videos there when I'm driving or talking. See something nice, I'll share it with you and have a good day.